after discussing digestion in the duodenum, we now go down to the ileum. Remember, both the duodenum and the ileum are parts of the small intestines. So the ileum is the lower part. This is the lower part. This is the lower part. This is the lower part of the small intestines. Of the small intestines. Intestines. That is highly called. It is highly coiled highly coiled to fit to fit in the small to fit in the small abdominal space The walls of the ileum, walls of the ileum have the following muscles, two muscles, circular, circular and longitudinal muscles. These ones are muscles. I will give you the function of muscles. These muscles of the ileum, the longitudinal and circular, the circular and longitudinal muscles, will contract and relax to push food along the alimentary canal. So it means the process of peristalsis is continued by the contraction and relaxation of the circular and longitudinal muscles. So the inner walls, the inner walls, the inner walls of the ileum uh, contains contains uh, secretory cells, secretory cells, and these cells. We have one mucus secreting cells, mucus, mucus secreting, secreting, correct spellings, secreting cells, what we are calling the goblets, goblet cells. And number two, they have what we call the intestinal intestinal juice which can also be called suckers suckers entericas suckers entericas scientific names so these are the two uh, very crucial secretory cells that are present in the inner walls of the ileum now when food arrives or arrival of chyme arrival of chyme at the ileum or in the ileum stimulates stimulates the secretion secretion of intestinal juice and this juice contains enzyme contains enzymes we are calling them the digestive enzymes which i'm ready to just list for you here we have maltase we have sucrase we have lactase, we have peptidase, we have 
le pace all these are enzymes that will assist in speeding up digestion of various foods let us look at each and every enzyme and give the function or the the substrate of food it facilitates in breakdown maltase speeds up speeds up breakdown speeds up breakdown of maltose maltose to glucose maltose to glucose sucrase sucrase speeds up digestion or breakdown of sucrose sucrose to glucose glucose and uh, fructose next we talk about lactase see lactase lactase speeds up the breakdown of lactose lactose to glucose glucose and uh, galactose then we have uh, d the fourth one peptidase peptidase it also facilitates or speeds up the breakdown of peptides peptides to amino acids to amino acids that is in protein digestion of protein peptides and uh, the last one is lipase lipase that is lipids lipids into of course two constituents fatty acids fatty acids and what we call glycerol fatty acids and glycerol now after all these have been digested the resulting emulsion the resulting emulsion the resulting emulsion resulting emulsion of food is called chyle chyle so it is converted from chyme to chyle now from this point it is chyle and it is made up of soluble products made up of soluble made up of soluble soluble products soluble products of food are ready for ready for absorption ready for absorption ready for absorption then it is true to say that digestion digestion ends at the ileum so once digestion has ended we will move to absorption but before we go to absorption let us write one very crucial point here about the mucus so the entire read with me the entire alimentary canal is lined with an epithelial membrane that contains goblet cells these cells produce secret mucus functions of mucus we have functions and very functions of mucus allows smooth movement of food materials that means lubrication so food is easily moved through the alimentary canal because of the presence of mucus. so that is what called lubrication number 2 protective coats of the alimentary canal against digestion by 
protein the protein digesting enzymes they prevent the alimentary canal from being digested by the protein digesting enzymes those are the two functions of mucus that brings me to the end of digestion in the ileum see you next in the video where we shall discuss about absorption and of course that absorption will still take place in the small intestines goodbye and continue following smart learners studio